Hey guys, just watching Critical 3. I can see here that at least over 50% of you have not subscribed. So if you are watching and you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, like, and most of all, share with your friends. Enjoy the video. Hello, and welcome to Critical 3. I'm Josh. I'm Tyler. Welcome. Are you ready? And action, mate. Nice, it's nice. So, on this time, we're back again, um, but with Conjuring, the Conjuring. devil made me do it. Yeah, number three of a trilogy now. Yeah. Um, trilogy. So, as we always start off with, initial thoughts, Tyler. Of course, we kind of kind of get, if you watch the vlog, we kind of get our initial thoughts, but we'll, we'll repeat them again just for argument's sake. Yeah, if you did watch the vlog, um, guys, as you kind of kind of know where we stand with it, in a sense. I'm actually been looking forward to this one, doing this video because, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really enjoy it as much as I was hoping. Mm. I I can't even say that. I don't know if I can say yeah, it's an okay film. Because I just, but I don't know if that's down to more that I'm let down. So am I being selfish, or is it is is it as bad as kind of maybe what a few people are saying? But what are your thoughts? I I think it's a okay film. I do think it's an okay film. I think I think it's you know I I enjoyed it. I didn't you know I didn't come out going that was boring. I didn't, you know, I didn't enjoy watching it. Mm. Uh, it just didn't, it didn't do for me what I thought it was going to do for me. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, I went in there thinking, yeah. right, I'm going to absolutely cap myself here. I'm going to be so scared. I'm going to get a good fright, you know, have a laugh, whatever. Right? And it just, there wasn't that at all. No. There wasn't a single bit in that film that made me jump no it's it's weird because the Conjuring films and I think even a lot of critics say really that it's they are some and obviously it's James Wan so this is the first one that he hasn't done yeah. but they say that they are you know kind of up there with today's horror it's a good modern horror franchise it's it's your popcorn horror should I say mm. you know especially more the Annabelle and the Nun you know they're more stereo start playing the skaters but where I think we're conjuring one and two was a bit more unique and a bit quite clever. Like especially especially the visuals in Conjuring Two is fantastic. Like I watch I've watched Conjuring Two three times, I think, and e even on the third time my hair still stand up. I I'm mm. still generally scared. Yeah. And I think the thing that really irritated me with this and I think this is why I struggle to say it's a good film and say it's okay, is that the scares were so cheap and I, I hated the lighting. I hated the lighting. Like, there was, just for example, let's say you're looking at me now, my light goes off, you would still kind of see the background, right? But it goes jet black and it'd be like me turning. You're waiting for something to jump out because it builds it like that each time. And then I'll turn, nothing's there, I'll turn back and then something would come at me or something would jump out of it. It was the same setup for the same scare. Mm. And I, it, the film was too dark. Yeah. Visually, it was too dark. Yeah. yeah, I think it would have been a hard watch to watch it at home in the day. Because, you know, yeah. because like, obviously, you know, your TV can get like light shining on it and stuff. And because it's that yeah. dark, you wouldn't be able to tell what's going off. No, you know, you'd have you'd have to you make your room reflective. pitch black, like literally pitch black, yeah, um, to be able to actually enjoy it as much as you can. Um, one thing, so scares going going on the scares. I talk about scares first and what they did and didn't do, right? Yeah. So, so it's going to be spoilers, I think, this episode because yeah, there's yeah. nothing to talk about. It's not spoilers. You've you've had no. you've had it with the the non spoiler bit, all right? So. Spoilers. Right. 
Sorry. <laughs> um, so, um, the scares. One thing in a horror film that always creeps me out to high heaven, right, is just a time where you don't think there's going to be anything. There's just some stuff yeah. there. Or, That's like the clever scares. Yeah. You know, like, just just a time. Like, no suspense built up or anything, but they're walking past the door and they don't see it, but you see, you know, from a side, yeah, from a side angle and there. then, you know, you know what I mean, don't you? Exactly you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, yeah. One film that does that really good if you've seen it or not Insidious yeah, yeah. with a kid yeah with a kid uh, I'm, I'm just going to say Insidious oh, Insidious uh, Conjuring 2 did it with the old man yeah in the house yeah you just see him walk past in the background it, that's great it, that is scary you're building that's like the, you're seeing the character more yeah which some people argue that when you see the character more you get less scared of it right but you, you're seeing the character and it and it's there you know then he's there yeah. you haven't got this thing of oh they're not they're not here you don't have to worry about him at this point he's there all yeah. the time so or or the ghost or whatever's there all the time so you're constantly fearing oh you know someone's going to pop out in a minute whereas this like this film didn't have that you were you weren't sat on the edge of your seat the whole way through thinking oh there's going to yeah. be something pop up and if, if, if it was going to be scared you knew it would be a scare because everything around whatever character was going to get scared goes completely black and you're just waiting for that face or a hand, and it. I, I hated it. I really, I hated the fact they went black. Like even the the bit where she goes under the house, and yeah, it was just. Do you don't know the best? I think the best scare in it, and it's the right at the beginning of the film, is where the kid goes in the shower. Yeah. Because first of all, ne- never go in the. Sh- it's horror one hundred and one. Never go in the shower and shut your bloody curtains. Yeah. But the actual scary bit was was with the hand on the top of the head rail, yeah. the top of the curtain rail. Because I'm thinking, oh, you know, that's creeper. That's scarier than a face up against it. Yeah, and I, at that point, I was like, right, it's easing us into it now, nah. and that we're going to yeah. get worse and worse as we go on. And I was really excited for you know what was going to come, but it just didn't. Yeah. So maybe it kind of gave us uh, you know a sense of expectation. That it just mm. didn't achieve. Oh. Um, like, like, I think you agree with me. Just there is really good bits in it, which I think we'll get to in you know, just a moment. But yeah, it's I'm, I'm I did I was, as you can tell, I hate the use of just pure blackness in the background, waiting for something to pop out. It's I I really I don't I'm not really sure who this director is. I've not really done my research, but. I, I probably won't be interested in another horror film that he did really no. if that's the style yeah. well you know there, there was there was yeah there was parts in the film and scenes in the film that um, could re- be really good like you know the part where he kills you get you see him actually kill the guy uh, Bruno is it in the yeah, in the yeah, yeah. in the pet like that's his the what he gets locked into jail for that scene has got the potential to be really good Parts of that scene are really good, but the the, the build up, the build up, really starting good. To fall ill. Yeah, starting to get yeah. ill. Is, you know, it's got this haze, right? But what it builds up to, and then the the actual scare where it goes black, and there with a red Again. window, like like you say, jet black, and then someone runs at him. It wasn't. It just wasn't scary. Yeah, it wasn't. And scary. It's like. It's like you've used by that point. We've seen that done in the film about three times. Yeah. Jet black, waiting for something to pop out. We've seen it three times by this point, yeah. and we're thinking, off, oh, you know, do something different, man. You know, why? It, yeah, it, it, it irritated me. Um, but like I said, the whole lead up to that scene and the fact that the audience can see that he's turning and that he's he's becoming possessed, he's coming ill, but the other characters in the room don't know this mm. that's more scary than the actual reveal the stabbing and whatever itself because yeah. at that point I was on the edge I'm thinking this is going to go off you know something's going to happen because well, you know I was building and it yeah it's just that's uh, what I mean. then when it, the, the actual concept of it where um, what this woman whatever she, she is um, controls them and makes them see things that aren't real 
that make them uh, what's what's the word? That hallucinate. hallucinate, yeah. Um, to see something that's not happening um, yeah. is terrifying. Imagine that. You know, you yeah. like like for example that scene. He, he kind of his, his anger builds up and he kills he, he kills the guy because um, he's he's like all over his girlfriend, and he's seeing yeah. them dancing. Obviously, they are dancing, but they're dancing out apart, realistically. Yeah. But he he's seeing them dancing all like you know. Sexy. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not kind of what's actually happening. Yeah. But it, again, I think this is also a no that I have for the film is that it's the film is based on kind of devil worshipping and yes cool. it brings up a, the cult yeah and yes it brings up a spirit and you know the, the spirit or something you or know demon. there yeah. or de- yeah, demon a <laughs> better way to put it but it, where the other two it was it was it was a ghost they were already it, prominent it was, it was, it was in the house or on the person wasn't it yeah, I mean, I, I think I prefer I prefer those films. Obviously, I, I I just I wasn't a fan of the the kind of witchcraft or demon possession or whatever. Not demon possession, the devil worshiping. I wasn't a fan of that. I didn't suddenly that didn't sell it to me. Um, and the do there's another thing as well at the beginning of the film, almost identical to Exorcist. How yeah. how much did he want to try and frame that? Yeah like the bloody ex I'm thinking you try and do it because it is it, 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 he's doing an exorcism mm. at the beginning of the film it's like you've almost done shot for shot of your version of exorcist yeah. well that's and, in the trailer as well isn't it where he gets out of the car and he's stood he, at the house with his briefcase and, and, and hat like it's it's to a T to a T the exorcist, exorcist isn't it the, yeah. it's look the whole look it's also the way yeah and I yeah and that took me out of it I think because you've took me out of it that oh, that early, it's you know it kind of got me looking at all this stuff. But kind of going on to the positives, the people who played Lorraine and Ed, well, yeah the Warrens are great yeah. as they have been. Um, you know they are really good actors and I I love their characters anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's I I just don't know. Yeah, I just. I don't know. There's a um, kind of get. Like I said these good bits. This the bit where we kind of spoke, maybe doing it differently. There's a bit where the there's like the post mortem where the dead bodies lie. Yeah. Um. What was it a morgue? I can't remember yeah. what it's called. Yeah. yeah. And and he turns the light switch. It's on a timer. And he, he, the camera keeps going back to this light switch. And I honestly think so. Again, he's using the pitch black. You know. Mm dark and one of the bodies move which again is predictable I think you would have been better if he turned that and you just heard the ticking so you knew it was on the timer but the camera never went back to it and the ticking just got maybe a bit louder and then just stops and then went black that would have been a lot scarier yeah I, I, I think I, I think it was just a bit cheap and a bit maybe like I don't know. It was you had, trying to put because, the word. because he showed the exact point that the switch went to turn the lights off. You didn't yeah. have a a suspense of it because you knew you knew as and when it was going to happen. Whereas the whole thing is to kind of keep you guessing. You know, yeah. the horrors like keep you guessing, and you don't know when it's going to come. Whereas you knew exactly when that was going to come. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. That that after that point though. There was a lot of people that found that body funny, right? Yeah. But I think it was an uncomfortable laughter because it was a very unsettling. It was actually a very unsettling scene, wasn't it? Yeah, it's. It was. I quite enjoyed it. It was a nice little scare, mm. nice little. Again, very stereotypical kind of thing. Yeah. But I, I did, I did enjoy that, yeah. and I also enjoyed which I think leads to the best bit in the film and the one bit that Minnie was like, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm going to say it where we was both like, <laughs> that was close. Yeah. I don't care, Josh. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't think of any way to say it, but obviously that body comes back in and obviously, you know, Edward I just want to say something, this. mate. If you can't think of another way of saying it, all right, you need to up your vocabulary, mate. You need to get a dictionary yeah. out. Oh yeah, well I got a D in English. Sure. Hey, get your dictionary. Uh, um, 
Yeah, I know. I know which part you're going to say. Go on. Yeah, and um, so yeah, obviously the main guy is seeing things. He thinks he's you know trying to you know pell this demon, and he cuts back and is almost killing his wife. Yeah, because he literally um, swings them to a knife. He gets a knife from somewhere, and uh, yeah. and swings a knife, at, and then someone grabs his arm before he, and then yeah. he snaps out of it, and then he it, it turns out that he was uh, nearly, nearly stabbed, Mrs. Warren. Yeah. yeah. Lorraine, Lorraine, yeah, so. it's it, it it was it was it was really good. See, see that bit that was clever. Yeah, that was, that was really a good. clever bit of horror, yeah. and it, it is a massive difference from going from uh, that set piece and that to climb under like into a basement or underneath a house where it's pitch black anyway, and you you waiting for something. I think it kind of it said it all because a horror film when you go and see a horror film it's always if, if there's a good few people in the cinema you mm. always of course get reactions not yeah. over the top reactions which we talked about in a other video uh, importantness yeah. but you get like the <gasps> gasps and the you know all that sort of stuff um, and there was only noticeably a few bits in it that people actually did and that was one yeah. of them everyone went oh, bloody hell uh, yeah that was yeah. bad but um like I say, the fact that, but I think, like I say, I think it was nervous laughing, but the that that scene where they're down in the morgue and is he, mm. the, the guy stood there, you know, is you know, people are just laughing at it. But, yeah. you know I mean? yeah. It just it just kind of says it all, really. But I don't know whether it's nervous or not. I don't know, but uh, yeah, you know, it's. Uh, I, I, f- I found the story really interesting because it was kind of exploring. I I, I love a court case me yeah. I'm, I'm one for it I love a court case uh, mate, mate yeah I love the OJ Simpson one you know, the Netflix one yeah there's that great there's, series oh there's loads like Time to Kill which I've watched recently obviously Lincoln Lawyer loads yeah. right yeah. and this was kind of that um, but it wasn't I was expecting and I, well we both said it didn't we before we were expecting some court you to see some court more scenes. court scenes there was a couple yeah. but there wasn't a lot now I, d- this is, yeah, this I don't know whether I, I wanted it I don't think I wanted it particularly but I was expecting it and you were kind of, the whole film was based off exploring this court case which is kind of why I enjoyed it because it was like you know what you kind of get when you watch a court case film when you watch a courtroom film but it's just like yeah. the uh, visual depiction of it rather than just it being told and stuff I think it would have been a better film if the whole film was kind of set during the court case and it kept going back, back to court. him in court and then explaining what was happening, what was going through, so like a you know reenactment, but yeah, I see it. But I, what I don't think... Which is exactly I, most what we, of the, we expected it to be. Yeah, most of the time, I'm sure there's... The only court, be, the only court scene you get is at the end where he gets convicted. The rest of it is in that prison hospital. There's two. There's that. There's a middle bit where, where they go and speak to her lawyer, yes. which is a funny part. Me and you both yes. talk good over that because it was really good, really well done. Yeah. Um, where she says, "Oh, if you don't believe in ghosts, let me show you our, our basement with all our artifacts, and then see how you feel." So she basically just- says that, and rather than seeing, you know, the, her go to the basement, all you all you get is a cut straight to the courtroom, and she's there like, like shocked, yeah. like in, in it- stun. She was kind of pulling uh, the face that you did in the vlog. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just like staring into the distance, like yeah. absolutely shocked. Um, so what, he's seen things. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that was that was really good. Uh, I really enjoyed that. We both kind of turned and looked at each other and like, laughed at that because that was, that was funny. Um, we both realised it. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, you know, w- one thing... I want to say is Conjuring right it the other two films there was possession in the films obviously yeah right yeah. but it was never the key focus at all no. the time because that's all all the scares came from possession this time whereas in the other two you had obviously possession parts but you also had the the spirit being around or the demon being around yeah Yeah. um as we mentioned before whereas this 
it was more like a possession film than it was a conjuring film which is why when we did the vlog i said i wouldn't i wouldn't call it a conjuring film because no. i would pull it there's, there are there are possession films aren't there? there's like what the possession of emily rose possession of yeah anna summer like those films it reminded me of like that type of thing because it was heavily on possession and um exorcisms and you know all the time it was it was that that was what it was because obviously we know that because it's the the cool thing and the demon and she summons the demon and all that sort of stuff so it was but like i say it was interesting it was interesting but it just didn't it just doesn't fit for me it doesn't fit for me in the conjuring i think no i i definitely I'm definitely not fussed about seeing another Conjuring film. Although I, I honestly think that my biggest takeaway from this film is I've been sat here thinking, would I be interested in seeing a remake of The Exorcist? I think I'd be interested in that because mate, the guy tried to be else tried to rip off The Exorcist at the beginning with the priest. It's more like a homage, but, isn't it, rather than a rip off. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, my terrible phrase of words there. I should go read a dictionary, but um, but do you know what I mean? Like, you know, they've remade a lot of old films. You know, would the would people go and watch The Exorcist if they remade that today? And what would it be like? I I, I wouldn't want to see a remake of The Exorcist. No, I wouldn't. No, because the the original, even though it's bad. It's so good at the same time. Not no, not bad as in like that. As in like the the uh, what do you call it? The graphics on that. Not well, as in that okay. bad film Muppet. I just right, call okay. the exorcist say, bad. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna say don't let me dad be straight on the comments. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> even though the graphics are bad and obviously they haven't held up because it is such an old film. Um, it's such a good film to this yeah. day. Like you watch it and it's still scary. Um. You know, I remember, I remember in school, like everyone talking about The Exorcist, like yeah. as a thing. And when we were talking about movies, it was The Exorcist. <laughs> oh, it, was, it was always The Exorcist. It went, oh, we gotta watch that. So, um, I just nah, nah, it wouldn't interest me. Uh, Have you ever watched um, Omen Two? I haven't. I haven't seen any great of the films. Films. Great film. Great film. Yeah, I've heard they're good. Very good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, f- uh, out of ten, Josh. I knew this question was coming. I didn't prepare, and I have no idea. Um, I think I would say mine five. would be a five. Yeah, five. Yeah, there you go. Five. Um, because I don't, maybe maybe less. Nah, I don't. I don't know. Maybe yeah. less. Maybe well, four. Well, I don't know. Would it be? Because obviously, again, could it be critically crap? Or do you think that's too harsh? I think that's too harsh. I think critically crap has to be like a three and below um, mm. because yeah I don't know it's it's not that bad like but it's just not it's just not I think what the issue that we have it's just not what we expected it to be and not and then, as I've said before for me anyway the way yeah. I describe it is not a conjuring film you know you just didn't expect no. it so it, like yeah it just that's that's why it's that low and it could be lower because of that point mm-hmm. but maybe if yeah. it wasn't a Conjuring film and I went to see it I might have enjoyed it more mm, I don't know it may be know. it's like I think we, there was a point and again just you know say if I'm wrong but we were both sat there and I think we just kind of, we both just kind of got like the vibe the aura that was like this is okay it's not what we thought it was mm. do you know what I mean because I kind of looked over you was kind of like sat like that and I was just like, I think I was a bit more interested in, uh, you know, Tango there, Ice there was a point, but... Yeah, there was a point, wasn't there, where we both looked at each other and just went, like that. Yeah. Kind of like a, like, kind of like a side note, like a, right, what is this? Right, like we, yeah, just kind of like, we're watching this. Okay, cool, we'll continue. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah. you know, it, it's it was what, it was, oh, I can't remember what it was. It was one point. I do remember it. Ah, oh, And it was one point. It, it was just kind of like a... It was like an unfeeling of something, um, and you you still didn't know kind of what it was at this point, 
Um, I think it was the the woman, the uh, the actual cult leader. You saw her yeah. for like the first time doing some bits. I think. Yeah. Um, and we both kind of looked at each other and went, what, "What's going on here?" Because it because yeah. it was that cool thing. That, that was when you realised it was kind of like a cool thing, and it was this woman. Yeah. Doing it. And we just kind of like, what is going on? But like, not in a good way. No, I don't think anyway. No, it was uh, like the the woman. I, like I said, I wasn't sold, and I wasn't really a fan of this whole uh, demon uh, ritual stuff. Anyway, um, is it, is it, and I think that's why it's not a conjuring film because Lorraine and Ed Warren they was more into poltergeists and you know ghosts and you know the nat- unnatural when this is it's not witchcraft but it's witchcraft do you know what I mean it's, it, I think it falls in that category and it's and I think that's why it didn't work for me mm. um, and let's say with a woman like, and like and when she kills her dad it's like hold on you, when he, you just explained it's just explained that you was just obsessed with devil worshipping. So why on earth are you whizzing around the room? You know, well, she just it, one supposedly, the it, gi- the, it gives her powers, doesn't it? That's what they said um, at some point in the film, that they believe the, the Satanists, um, yeah. if they worship the devil and give, them, give the devil things, so, they get powers. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of what it was, was, was that she's got powers, I guess. Yeah, and around, but... that's what I mean. It's just like, yeah, and I've thought, and, and again, I don't think there was no motive for it to kill her dad. No. Although, I, like, I know, yes, he was helping him, but, like, you know, what one are you thing, doing? One thing I'm thinking, so the woman then, obviously her, her layer led from her dad's basement into, so was does, does the woman live with her dad all the time? Does she live with her dad all the time? Yeah. You would have thought I so. I don't know, it was weird. I don't know whether she kind of lived in the tunnel a bit or whether she lived actually with her dad and she goes down to the tunnel. Or, well, I, well, I would have thought she goes down to the tunnel because in the flashbacks, you kept seeing her walking away from the table into the dark. Yeah. So I'm assuming she's gone back upstairs for a cuppa. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Dad's oh, called it. it. Tea's ready. Yeah. Yeah, how's it going, sweetheart? Yeah, I just made this guy kill someone for dancing with his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, right, busy day then. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's it's just like yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I haven't really got much to say about it. I think I think that's no, I think that's about it. Yeah. Um, guys, if you've watched Conjuring, um, you know, would love to hear what you think. You know, out of the three, um, you know did you enjoy this more than probably what me and Josh have and out of the three where would you rank it you know is it the worst one as maybe a few well I think me and Josh kind of sat three it is and a few other critics or you know it's, if did you, you enjoy it did better, it scare you if, if, if anyone thinks it's better than, than one and two right you're wrong <laughs> oh. sorry <laughs> you start right all right <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You're wrong. Yeah, you're just wrong. Uh, I know. I know it's opinion based, but it's wrong. So you know, just like um, the, the Zack Snyder cut is better than the Josh Whedon. Oh yeah. Oh, we need to do the video on that because apparently you've got some guy that you make yeah, that thinks that the original cut's better. So that that would make a really interesting video. So we need to get that organised. Yeah, definitely. So, there definitely. Go. All right, well, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you know, let us know below if you have watched Conjuring and the devil made me do it. Uh, and obviously, most of all, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like, and the notification bell so you can be notified for when our videos go up and you can be the first to watch them. Yes. And share with your friends. Share with your friends. Share with your friends. Um, yeah, cheers, guys. Appreciate it. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>